good morning Spartans in this video we will discuss what it is to live with a working terrier <laughs> as you can see here they are quite driven nice dogs um, but of course they also have their pros and cons the pros are they are very stable they are very healthy energetic drive is also excellent so they if you want someone to help you uh, do your walks and pull you a little bit to give you a little bit of exercise also for your bicep curls <laughs> this is a good breed and they are not that big because they are still terriers they should be able to go underground so also your children can have a nice exercise without being overwhelmed especially if they are over 12 they can easily manage one of these dogs on the leash with two they have a little bit more force as you can see <laughs> this is just regular walking for them if you pick up the pace a little bit of course they also will as you can see the drawbacks could be there if you have a lot of cats in the neighborhood or other things that you want to uh, yeah want to keep in peace and they will just want to hunt them of course because they see them as quarry and prey and they think they do you a big favor by doing so uh, there's a big difference in keeping certain types of terrier i like this strong type fell terrier type a lot more to be kept as a house dog as for example a german jacht terrier which is also an excellent hunting terrier but it's almost impossible to be kept as a pet in my opinion and i know there are certain specific strains and um, also specific lines of german hunting terrier that are not as uh, extreme i do get that but as a whole as a breed i would not recommend them and why because they are extremely intense and they uh, yeah they are just not uh, have yeah not in the position that they have an off button they are always on whereas for example um, so sorry i want to uh, finish this thought line so if the dog is always on and constantly very sharp uh, not only for its quarry but also often for uh, other people in the house so it could be biting a german yacht terrier also not as safe with uh, gas etc that's something i would not want also also that type of german hunting terrier barks a lot more so if you have neighbors living close as almost all of us have this will be a nuisance in my opinion then back to the petadol terrier which is in my opinion a completely different type of fell terrier it's a silent type so it's not a barky it's more of a gripping type of dog and the other benefit is that it has an off button so like a Staffordshire Bull Terrier of working lines they love to work but they also love to chill and they if you give them uh, enough exercise they will do exactly that and if they do so and if they do so you will really enjoy their company because they can chill with you on the sofa of course they will also play but if you give them sufficient exercise they will happily also chill with you they are not barky they are friendly with humans they see humans as gods or demigods and they just don't, don't want to hurt them in general of course if humans are trying to hurt you or your family it will be a different discussion because they will protect their owners of course and they have their terrier uh, disposition and they are king of terriers in my opinion king of working terriers so of course from those that are able to go on the ground they're one of the toughest if not the toughest version and i like to have a big dog in a small package as you can see the drive and the muscularity is excellent
that's the difference between the female build on the right, which is a lot lighter, and the male build, which is more built like a tank. So, a lot sturdier, a lot bulkier, but still able to go to uh, uh, smaller crevices. Not as small as a female, though. So, if, for hunting, if you look at the left, it should be a badger dog. And on the right could also be uh, used for foxes. Because uh, a badger can still over overrule them, because he's not that uh, heavy, about 7-8 kilograms. Whereas the male on the left is 10 to 13 kilograms, depending on workout. So even at 13 kilograms, you will be solid muscle, but then you uh, focus less on the endurance, which is also important, of course. So I hope this helps. Have a great day. Out.